Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between MHG and Bly for EG here on Gildan's Legacy. So once again, casting another game from the Gildan's Legacy a map. Hopefully we'll get to see more creeps, uh, more creeping, more creep drops. And this is one of those new maps that I just found recently and um, apparently there was like a, a set of six or seven games played on them. So it should be pretty interesting. Bly for EG doing the standard crypt and getting the ziggurat. I'm assuming that we're going to have an altar of darkness off of this one particular, yes, an acolyte right here. And then we'll have a tome of relics and nearing completion in just a second. Meanwhile, we have a, a Bly for EG getting an altar of elders, a moonwell, and doing going to be doing some ancient of war creeping against this level 4, level 3, level 1. I think there's a level 2 creep in the back right over there. And the one that heals, one, one of those murloc that heals right now. So we have um, MHG spawning over here at the 2 o'clock position and Bly for EG um, spawning over here at the 5 o'clock position. Uh, I'll just call them uh, Bly and MG because, or HG because G ending both on the G sound is just going to get me confused even more. So HG getting the Demon Hunter while, meanwhile Bly is now getting that Altar of Darkness and getting, grabbing a Tome of Relics at the same time, sending out an Acolyte in order to do some um, scouting. Acolyte's going to scout in the wrong direction. Meanwhile, the Wisp is going to scout in the right direction, and we'll see um, how this is going to really play into anything right there. So hopefully, the, um, the Wisp wanted to make sure that it was not seen, just wanted to creep out that location, saw the Blight. I don't think that the Altar of Darkness was able to um, get um, sight out there. We do have... Um, uh, Death Knight now coming into play along with the additional ghouls going to we'll see if Bly for EG tries to do anything sneaky here on this map It is fairly close spawn so players have been trying to do that tactic where you sell your scroll of town portal and then just come in with six or seven ghouls very very early on Ancient of War now trying to take down that snare caster um, snare caster getting healed as well so the demon hunter should be coming out in just a second mana bird being trained by the demon hunter right off the bat so we'll see how this is going to work now, a wisp now coming in trying to fake out his opponent trying to say hey i'm a cross spawn because that wisp did come out a little bit late but it but he does not know that there's an acolyte over to the north so the acolyte is nearing will come across this right now snare caster or ancient of war down to 134 hit points needs to eat um, some trees really really quickly otherwise he's going to be in trouble down to 118 hit points now should be fine the demon hunter should get that last hit and that ancient of war should not have any issues and yes we do have um, um, we have Bly, Bly selling his scroll of town portal coming across to the north and getting some additional skeletons and going to attack with um, five ghouls right off the bat so no and th this is looking pretty interesting already we'll see how this is going to work as he just tries to run to the north right now sees that ancient of war low on hit points doesn't care about it wants to take out some of those acolytes with coming in getting a quick detonation off so more and um, more experience on that demon hunter trying to take out some of those archers trying to make sure that those moon wells and uh, the reason why uh, hg has so many moon wells right now is so that he can have a lot of healing so we'll see how this is really going to work, trying to take down one of those ghouls. The ghoul goes down to an archer focus fire, level 2 on the demon hunter, and HG doing very well against this um, harassment right now. A lot of wisp taking damage over here, so we're going to have a, most likely a swap from the gold mine. Immolation being teched on the demon hunter, demon hunter trying to chase down a low hit point ghoul. Ghoul getting um, caught up on a frog, and down goes another ghoul, so Bly for EG not doing very well at all. Demon Death Knight now trying to come in, trying to um, just inflict some casualties right here. And charge. We do have additional skeletons. No, no more skeletons in play. But um, no, sorry, skeletons to the north. And Wisp in the gold mine have taken some damage. And now it looks like once again trying to re-engage. Not very, very smart to try to surround a demon hunter with immolation, especially when they're by moon wells. Not looking good at all. A single archer finally no doesn't even go down as the as the moon wells are still con providing plenty of of moon juice and just still giving a lot of healing to those archers a another quick detonation demon hunter will be level three and if this fight continues any longer and now nice pathing coming in that death knight now trying to do some good pathing trying to um, a, a, not unable to save that ghoul as grabbed unholy aura so that ghoul is not going to be doing any healing right there taking the tree of ages already hg is so taking the tree of ages two archers one archer in the back so HG coming in really just smelling like roses after this um, harassment attempt coming in from Bly for EG. More and um, more skeletal minions trying to come out, trying to um, take out some of those wisps, but that's just going to feed experience over there. So not not much is really going to happen. One skeletal minion left, and the skeletal minion will just fall as the wisps in the gold mine are now healing nice and safe in that cozy gold mine while those wisps are so cold out in the trees. We have the ghouls now trying to get some additional lumber right now. 
I'm trying to get into position. I'm trying to make sure that the um, the demon hunter cannot get back there. Trying to return some lumber and once again moving out with uh, with an additional group of um, additional group of ghouls right now. Low hit point low hit point ghouls getting a secondary crypt along with taking the halls of the dead. So I have to assume that we're going to be seeing gargoyles in just a second. And HG now trying to take down this um, this hermit. This hermit is going to get to level th or cause the demon hunter to get to level three. So level two mana burn or level two immolation or this is things are not looking very good right now. And level two mana burn it is. So mana burning that death knight. Death knight's going to take a lot of damage just from mana burns. And Ghoul, oh, getting nice some nice pathing in there, and the Death Knight taking 100 damage from that mana burn, trying to run away. Death Knight still trying to run away. Not quite sure if um, Unholy Aura would have been the best choice at this point. I think a plenty of Death Coils could have taken out a lot of those archers. But at the same time, the Unholy Aura has saved a lot of saved a lot of those ghouls just from being able to run away. But the Death Coil would have been just as effective in being able to just pull those units back right now. Um, did we get a tavern hero? No, no tavern hero yet from um, HG. So HG does not have a tavern hero. Almost a tree of ages. Um, Halls of the Dead or Black already upgrading the Black Citadel, getting dual um, dual gargoyles, not getting the secondary hero. So we'll see if Death Knight will be able to continue to push this right now. Death Knight sitting at level two does have Death Coil. Now, now moving to the north, Wisp moving around the map, Demon Hunter trying to figure out where. That Death Knight is Demon Hunter moving up a little bit to the north. So right now, Bly4EG Bly EG is in a little bit in the weeds right now, not able to really take on anything, trying to take on some of these archers. It will now focus firing with five archers spread around across the map, trying to able to take finally take down or do some damage to some of those units. An additional ghoul is going to fall. So one ghoul goes down for the trading of one archer. Now, um, units still trying to um, get to the positioning right now. This base build is from Black 4 EG very, very nice in terms of being able to make sure that units aren't don't have free movement as the archers are just standing there next, constantly next to those moon walls. Demon Hunter coming in, Tree of Ages wants to get on the action, trying to take down some units right now. Death Knight able to take down one of those Ancient of Lores. I think that was an Ancient of Lore. Uh, wasn't click and now we have archers now continuing to push in. Gargoyles trying to push in as well, trying to take down some of those Wisps. We have Skeletal Minions once again trying to rejoin this fight, trying to take down some of those units. Demon Hunter coming in. Demon Hunter going to get off another Mana Burn. No, no Mana Burn on the Death Knight as he does not have that much mana anyways. An additional Ancient of Lore being built, and then we have a Pandirium Brewmaster joining the fight. So Pandirium Brewmaster joining the fight, Demon Hunter trying to chase some of those Skeletal Minions, and it's not really going to work. Death Knight now coming in, trying to run back, trying to take down some of those, and um, that Demon Hunter, Demon Hunter gets another Mana Burn off, but not too much damage done anyways. So it looks like it is going to be a dual Crypt Gargoyle strategy, getting a Black Citadel, no secondary hero. So it's going to be more gargoyles than anything else, and then getting the Black Citadel for that Orb of Corruption. Trying to take down those Ancient of Lores now. Those gargoyles should have no problem taking down those Ancient of Lores as they are doing piercing damage. Quickly focus firing down and one of those Ancient of Lores, and now that Death Knight once again trying to pull to the back right, right now. Gargoyle is now continuing their harassment on that Wisp line, trying to take down that Ancient Protector. Ancient of Protector should and fall. Uh, trying to move those gargoyles away out of range from that single archer and ancient protector down to 170 hit points not quite sure if it will make it or not that oh it, it gets cancelled by hg as he does not want to risk losing that ancient protector right there losing all those resources rod on necromancy and now moving again once more with some additional uh, with a lot of ghouls now so army sitting at 38 over 40 getting ghoul frenzy as well so and those ghouls are going to be doing a lot of damage pretty much like cracklings and starcraft so we'll see how that's really going to work as as the demon hunter is now being forced to try to run away from these units and gargoyle is still trying to do some harassment on this wisp line and bly 4 eg with some with a superb strategy may be able to take this game from hg even though hg seems to had seems to be in control of most of the game being really really effective with being able to push back this constant harassment dryads now joining the army as well ancient protector being built over to the north so we'll see how this is really going to work out for everyone. And those dryads are not a very good counter to those gargoyles at all. Ancient of Wonders coming down, most likely wanting a moonstone. All the moon walls are pretty much empty at this point. So right now would be a very good time. And it, it and Bly4 EG is going to press in with this. Has a scroll of healing, has a rod of necromancy. And we'll see what's going to happen here. Trying to take down that Ancient of Wonders. No, going after that single Ancient Protector. No, going after those dryads. So one dryad quickly goes down. Breath of Fire. A nice scroll of healing to counteract all those units. And Death Knight now gets to level 3. So very, very nice. Oh, trains level 2 Unholy Aura. 
So that's a little bit of a surprise. So those units are now just running much, much more quickly. Stay tuned for part two and the conclusion of this replay between Bly4EG and HG here on Gildan's Legacy.